the last two weeks timetable brought us outside of the house. You will watch us starting the preparation of beds, cutting down trees, finishing the door project and handling the lack of space in the nursery. Physical work season arrived. We did some tilling work and measured the size of the new beds. In total, we will have 15 additional beds to this season, which means lots of compost work to do. The weather is great for a swim too. Because we had heavy winds, a big branch of an old oak tree fell down and damaged our fence around the market garden. With lots of help from our friends, we cut the branch down and repaired the fence. As we became close to finishing the doors in the last video, this video we start with oiling them. For the next steps are just to put in the glass.
I don't know if you remember, but in one of our first videos we took down two old glass houses or greenhouses which were located on, on the property, as we were sure that we wanted to reuse or recycle this glass later on. Here you see us finally cutting it up and using it in our new door. This was quite a steep learning curve, as Nini hasn't done it in quite some time, and the old glass cutter wasn't too sharp. But finding out how sharp and good a new tool can work, it was easy work from there on. After all the glass has been cut to the proper sizes and fitted inside the frames, we used some tape, which is like a thicker tape, um, like a beetle tape that you may know from boat building, to isolate the glass around it and keep it from moving. Usually you would use some small wooden blocks to hold them in place, but we decided to go for a little bit of a different approach here. After the glazing beads were hammered into position, Nini did what she likes the most and finished up the silicone joints which are all around the frames now, with some extra help. And as we had so many helping hands at that weekend, we did some final touches that we needed before putting it up. We forgot to film how we put up the frame, but the way more satisfying and important task is putting in the door. Here you can see us finalizing this stage. And we're pretty pleased. Some touches here and there, and everything is done. Before it's too late, we trimmed the trees on the hill behind the house and chipped the branches, so we can use them to mulch the paths between the vegetable bits. Thank you. 
A project which has been postponed for quite some time is building a second or third workbench. The idea behind this is, once again, as everything in our workshop is on wheels, to have them on wheels. We had these offcuts of CLT, which is cross-laminated timber, laying around and I wanted to use it for quite some time for this project. So I started cutting it up. As moving these big pieces around is a quite labor intensive work, I was very pleased that on the next day a friend of ours arrived, which was highly motivated to do some physical workout. These bigger slabs that we have are too big or too heavy for the saw, and there is a point where you decide that not the workpiece comes to the tool, but the tool comes to the workpiece, so we cut those on the floor. Now that everything is cut, the only thing that remains to do is to drill some holes and we're close to assembling it. And now it's finally time for the assembly. We're just using screws to keep this together, as we're not sure if this workbench will be forever a workbench, or will be rebuilt into something else.
top of the workbench was screwed on as well. We later on used for wood plugs to hide the screws and also have to, to have an even surface. And there you go, we're nearly finished. And for once we've been able to start and finish one of our building projects within our two weeks video time frame. One of the most important and ongoing things that we are doing, or especially Nini is doing on the farm, is to separate the young seedlings or young plants. As the well-being of those little plants plays a big role in how well this season turns out for us, it's an unbelievable, important and time-consuming job, which Nidhi dedicates nearly all her time currently towards. Here's just a short clip of what that routine looks like to her. Based on what kind of plant it is, it will either go to the greenhouse, which is currently heated, or to our indoor growing nursery. Nini as well built a small tunnel out of fleece inside the greenhouse, which keeps the bomb a little bit better inside from the heating cannon standing underneath it. 